How you doing? I'm Terrell Royce from uh, Terrell Royce of Big Blue Belt Media. How you doing today? Pretty good. How are you, man? How are you? Pretty good. Making it through another day. <laughs> we got oh, you. Okay. Uh, all right. So Henry, Carlos, Gordon, Gordon. Uh, I, I just I just asked this to your your other crazy brothers this morning, but uh, what is it, uh, especially um, you know, the transition from kind of dramas to comedy? And I know uh, Henry, you have more of experience in like the the comedy world. Uh, what, what was I have more experience. Yeah. Carlos has the the comedy. Carlos, experience. sorry, sorry. Yeah. Carlos yeah. has more experience in the comedy world. Yeah. Uh, and just kind of bringing everybody into that because everybody's kind of playing like the army guy or something like that. I was just kind of wondering what what was that experience kind of working with actors that uh, didn't normally normally work on that type of show? I think Carlos was um, actually really helpful and instrumental in um, the transition to comedy for me. There was definitely a lot of scenes or moments where I would pitch a joke or playing something a certain way or a rhythm of something to him and get his idea and his take on it and then tr start bringing that into Mike. Um, yeah, it was definitely, it was helpful to have a comedian around, not just a comedian, but <laughs> a, a, a clown. A clown. <laughs> a clown. <laughs> Our own personal clown on set was really helpful. Yes. <laughs> um, now, I guess, like, who would you say, uh, if you had to guess uh, who Rafa's favorite uncle is on the show out of the, the five of you? That's a good question. That's a good question. <clears throat> like, that's a tough one. I don't think it's Mike, yeah. which is sad. <laughs> I think it's Jay. It might be Jay. I think it's it would be Jay. He probably feels like he's the most father figure of them all. He's the one he goes to yeah. when he, like, has a decision to yeah. make that time. Yeah, and definitely not Uncle Ryan because he's, I feel like they're closest. Yeah, they're basically like, <laughs> yeah. Uncle Ryan definitely feels like a, more of a, a, yeah. a oh, cousin. No, Roly, he's, sorry, man, we're just sitting here having this. Uh, I think it's <laughs> also in the Mexican Oh, yeah, he man. thinks he's super cool, yeah. Yeah, yeah, right. yeah I think it's Roly. Spoiler alert. I don't know, Uncle, Uncle Jay seems to have a, a couple breakdowns every time within about, you know, the love of his life, his family, yeah, and yeah. Uh, stuff like that. Which is hilarious, by the way. But uh, just I, I, like you said, prob you said probably Jake because he comes off with a foggy figure. But Rafa doesn't like to do manual labor as, as I've seen so far. So I, I, I don't know. That it's might like, not really be the, it's the a, path. It's a generational thing. Just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Car Carlos, just uh, jumping into your character, Ryan, man. He, he he seems to be holding on to these, you know, these accomplishments in life, you know, working at the bank, getting his his uh, his 10 hour certificate. Uh, you know, we have that one episode of, uh, oh man, it's got the name of the game that quick. Game uh, we, we game champ, yeah. When you guys, you know, compete to, you know, to withhold this this position, uh, Ryan, you know, of course, yeah, he, he's feeling a little bit uh, a little okay. threatened by that. Uh, you know, what was your what was your favorite part about that episode, and what did what did you think about you know your character kind of going through that? Hands down, it was a slapping scene. Uh, we had so much. <laughs> Honestly, like out of all this, I think if there was ever like that's probably gonna be like for me specifically and for what I did with was working with Melissa Fumero and having Christina slapping me around it was such a great like I love it. It was such like a good uh, distillation of the show, like trying just everything coming together with the silliness, the the physical comedy of it all, but still kind of making an emotional like point. I think it was. Right. Like the the most fun I I had doing that episode. Game Champ was, I would say they they let me kind of go crazy a little bit because <laughs> Ryan was like wilding out. He was very insecure about losing his uh, degree certificate. <laughs> yeah, uh, uh, Henry, um, just the you know you getting to play another guy in the army, right? Like that's just seems to fall into the to, to the wheelhouse. Yeah. Uh, what uh, you know we don't really get a lot of backstory on his days in the army. We just know that he was there, uh, you know, and we see that is obviously a big part of his life. Do you think that's something that obviously he wants Rafa to, to join that he has competition through the air force? I mean, I, I think the, I think all of them, the, the reason they pitched so hard for Rafa to do what they did is 
because it validates what they did. Yeah. Like, I think it, I want Rafa to go to, to some sort of military because then I feel like I'm, I made the right We're decision because influence. like he's the right. best of us and he has now chosen to do what I did. Um, so yeah, I think I, I was pretty adamant about it, but mostly I it's think a, it's selfish, reasons. selfish reasons. Yeah. I didn't even think about that. Yeah, they, you know, Rafa is kind of the the reflection of what they kind of want to instill in him, obviously. Yeah. And everybody's kind of turning into a game of like, who can get Rafa to follow this lead? You know what I mean? You know, so that is obviously I ran it's not the first episode, technically. You didn't go to college. But <laughs> <laughs> I influenced him. <laughs> um, Henry, there's an episode with you and you and Jay, man, where, you know, you're just the, the petty is a petty. Uh, you, you get your get back with the roof episode. <laughs> um, what, uh, how long was he actually on that roof on set, man? Like, that's, that's something I was thinking about. We were up there for a while, both of us. Um, him longer because, you know, it, it's the flash. I'm just there a flashback. The flashback yeah. But I have to <laughs> it's a tire on. Um yeah, he was up there for like a whole day. He was a soldier about it too. He he was uh they kept trying to get him to come down or send someone up with an umbrella to help him like be out of the sun and and this method. Yeah, Jonathan was super just like, I'm good, I'm staying up here and we're just not gonna <laughs> I don't need an umbrella. They threw him a water, he was like, Water. <laughs> I want to <laughs> back. Eat, eating sock sandwiches apparently. <laughs> yeah. I'm also um, I love I I find pettiness really funny. Even like pettiness towards me. If somebody gets me with something and it's really well done, I kind of just laugh and clap along with them. Um, so that was I loved that. That bit. look, that's 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 how I like to just be in general. You know, everybody should be able to just kind of get their get back every now and then, or, yeah, without it being overly serious. If it's well done, I'm I'm happy. If it's just mean, then then I get upset. But if it's funny, like well played, right. Uh, for the both of you, what would you say your favorite episode uh, of your the first season was? Game Champ for me, mm. which is also the roof episode. Which is the roof yeah. episode? It's uh, <laughs> it's a, it might be Game Champ for me. It's Game Champ or Seven for me. The so the recruitment fair. Recruitment that was a fun one. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I, I need Game Champ to be a recurring theme throughout the season, kind of like in Brooklyn Nine Nine with the heist. I, yeah. I need that to be a, like a recurring thing in the, in the show. Um, so, uh, Carlos, uh, you know, they seem to really hint at you kind of having girlfriends, not having girlfriends throughout the show. There seems to be a moment towards the end there where something's happened, but you're completely oblivious to it. Yeah. Are we going to get, we're going to get more of, uh, something towards that character? I don't know. We'll see. I think definitely we're hinting at the fact that Brian's an idiot when it comes to that. Uh, <laughs> everything just kind of flies over his head. So we're gonna see how they uh, how that would develop, right? Yeah, I mean, I feel like that's I that's think, kind of part of the fun that he doesn't like. Right, right. right. Yeah. I was thinking about the fact that you said an idiot when it comes to that and the lack of awareness. The lack of awareness. Like, yeah, 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 yeah. And then this guy, <laughs> uh, I'm just kind of gross. <laughs> yeah, I guess uh, you change the odorants. Uh, yeah, I'm. You know, I'm trying to figure it out. <laughs> I think I think Mike is is he's in, he's in a in a quest on a quest to yeah. He's trying. Uh, last question. It's something that was bothering me as I, as I watched the season, and maybe you could answer this mystery for me. Who actually lives in Drea's house and who doesn't? <laughs> Only Rafa and Christina. Yeah. But it's an open door okay. policy. What is it? I'm like, yeah. I'm like, are they just there with the crack of dawn? I've seen people come out of all, the rooms. None of us cook. None of us. Yeah. Well, it's I basically some... home base, literally, yeah. because they grew up in that house, but Christina. Okay. Christina's character, Drea, keeps the house, obviously, and is raising Rafa. But, uh, but yeah, we just come in and out. Like, it's it's basically, think about, like, a like a dorm room, like a dorm setup where you have your room, but then everybody just right. goes to bed. Which I think is also very common in, like, mm -hmm. in Miami, it, it's super common where families will all live pretty close to each other, and it's just walking to each other's houses and yeah. being in and out. Well, okay. I appreciate that. That was, that was, that was killing me. I'm glad you cleared that up for me. <laughs> well, look, I appreciate you. I, I really thank you for the interview. Uh, I hope that you guys get a season two. The show was hilarious. I laughed every episode. 
your characters are two of my favorites. I cannot wait to see what you guys do for for another season. Thank you, brother. Thank you, appreciate bro. it. Appreciate you, bro. See you.